This is Twit. All right. Uh, we don't need the hardware bumper. You can rest your bumper finger, Burke. Uh, we are going to jump right to you, Adam, with your review of the Honor Magic VS 5G. All right. Well, I need Skippy the review cam to uh, to make an appearance. Skippy. So I don't know. I don't know if Burke is doing that. Skippy, but come in, please. Anyway. Okay. Well, this is the Honor Magic VS 5G. Don't forget the 5G because it's 2023, <laughs> and you just never know. Anyway, um, so this is a uh, you know a book style foldable, just like the um, you know another phone that we're probably all fairly familiar with. That's in its fourth generation already. Uh, but one of the like the halo features of this particular phone is that there is no gap whatsoever in that hinge. Like I have the Samsung uh, Galaxy Flip 4 here, and you can see. Actually, I should probably take the case off, but uh, you can see that there is a a fairly substantial gap in between the. Uh, for the uh, for the Galaxy Flip, you know, you can you can shove a couple pieces of paper in oh, there. Yeah, there's teardrop. nothing there. There's nothing there. It's a, we're seeing we're seeing more foldables that aren't deal. Samsung do the no teardrop thing. So I'm wondering right? if Samsung's ever right? going to go that route. Yeah, I gotta think. I gotta think. Yeah. And then on the other side, we have a very nice, uh, a very nice uh, back plate here. Um, Is that a, a switch? Uh, a, a switch? What this guy? Yeah, it looks no, like a switch the, on the video. The flashes. <laughs> I was like, boy, that's, is that yeah, like a privacy the... switch or something? Yeah. I'm no, sorry. no, unfortunately, no. That's the flashes, and we have really subtle branding down at the bottom here. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice finish. It's a very light blue. I don't know if that's translating through, and it's kind of a uh, little reflective, and uh, yeah. So I mean, I dig it. Uh, nice big uh, camera bump on the back here with uh, three cameras back here, which is a. I'm going to try to remember this off the top of my head. It's a 54 megapixel main main camera, 50 megapixel ultra wide, and then 8 megapixel 3x optical zoom uh, telephoto lens. Um, but anyway, and then when you open it up, that's when you get the that's when you get the good show fingerprint sensor on the side in the power button. And uh, there, I mean that that I mean that there you go. That's that's this is a 7.9 inch um, screen. There is a crease. Honor says there's no crease, but if I turn off the phone, yeah, you can kind of see that there's a crease there. It's yeah. not a big deal. I, I, like all foldables, yeah, there's a crease. No, be. you won't care. Now, um, one of the kind of downsides about this phone, and in fairness, this is only the second generation Honor foldable. Um, thus far, they had the the Honor, uh, the Honor V, and then this is the Honor VS. Um, when you... When you have the phone on and and you know you've got your five by six grid of icons here, when you open it up, it's the exact same thing. So like there's no real extra use of space here. Like I would like to see, you know, maybe the same grid of icons over here and then over here, like you just have more space. Maybe you have widgets or something like that over here. But it's the, it's the exact same thing. And I've got a set so it turns off when it when you close it. So it's the exact same thing here as it is here. I would have liked to see a little bit more, but you know, that's me. Um, is that different cool on the things. Pixel Fold? Or sorry, not the Pixel Fold, the uh, Z Fold. And the Z Fold, when you go from because I mean, and I realize that it's kind of different because the Z Fold front screen is like this tiny little narrow thing. It's gotten better over right. the years, but. Well, this, this looks like more of, tiny, of a phone. A narrow too. Yeah. It, I mean, it's, it's narrow-ish, but it looks way more like a phone. Like if I was to see a phone that was that, you know, th that um, ratio, I'd be far yeah. less like puzzled by it than I would be if but I saw the Pixel Fold cover. Here's screen. the Google. Here's the Google Pixel Seven Pro okay. next to it. So yeah. you can see it's a little bit wider. And actually, I've got a uh, happy that. Happy the caliper here that I could uh, <laughs> I could measure them for you. Yeah, bust out um, the caliper, anyway. please. Yeah, I, 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 you asked. All right, here we go. Um, so let's see. I don't know that we've ever had this a live guy. caliper on the show. So this is the caliper cam right here. Oh, I got so this caliper is, season. This is this is a uh, sixty-three point two uh, millimeters, and this guy is sixty-seven point five millimeters. Now, of okay. course, that's going edge to edge. It's not really yeah, going right, like edge right. of screen to edge of screen. But anyway, um, I always have a handy <laughs> caliper handy because you never know when you might need one. Yeah. Um, one of the cool things that I like about the software is 
I, I don't know if you saw it before, but you can actually enlarge your folders so that they actually become kind of oh. actionable. So you oh, can that's like, cool. You can I have, like that. Yeah, and so I mean, it takes up two different uh, two different spots vertically and horizontally. But you know, each of these icons is clickable, so that you can um, do that. And I, I want to say, uh, there's no way to move through the folder, which you know right. is kind of kind of a bummer. But that's all right. I mean, it's it's one of the th cool things that I kind of like about it, as long as you're using you know the extra space. Um, when you open up the phone. Uh, I'm just going to launch anything here. Hey, there's my DHL shipment. Let's close that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any porn tabs open now. Uh, but anyway, so we're okay there. Know. Yeah. So when you have uh, when you have the screen open like this, you can actually drag in from the side like a back gesture. But if you hold it, then you get that sidebar where you can open up like a second uh, a second window. And so if you open up the Kindle, then it opens up in a floating window. And then up at the top there, if you tap, there's like a little bar up here. I don't know if you can see that, but if you tap that, then you get your various multitasking options. You can either leave it as a floating window, you can minimize it, which puts it over as an icon over here, um, or you can make it just go to one side, um, or you can actually do the whole, it's not gonna work now, is it? See, and this is, this is part of the software issue that I was talking about. Um, I think Honor has a little bit more work to do in order to get the software where it's um, where it's rocking. But even mm -hmm. if you have a full screen window like that, you can push that off to the side and it gives you like an app list. So you can choose what else you want open, but then you can make it full screen again. Um, you know, one of the things that I really liked about this, and this is so stupid and first world probably, but um, what I would often do was when I would go to like Target, when I would go to my local Target to do like a pick up a shopping order, they make you pull up this code and like show them the code for you. So what I'll do is I'll have that open over on this side and I will sit there and read while I'm waiting for them to bring out my stuff. And then, <laughs> um, you know, when they actually do come out, then I can show up, I can hold up the code and I don't have to be like, oh, wait, let me flip through all my various windows and right. and find that. So. I mean, like I'm a I'm a 46 year old dude in the suburbs. What else do you want me to do with this thing? Um, but I mean, it's really nice. Like some apps that are particularly suited for this kind of screen, um, like the New York Times crossword puzzle, which <laughs> I completed. I'm just saying. Um, but there's a couple of other games that you can do. Like Not Words actually looks really good on a larger screen like that. Um, you know, Kindle is always a good standby where you know you get, especially when you get the. Uh, the page turning effect oh. and so like this that completely replaces a, a normal kindle if if you if you want to so i've read so many books with with this going on um but yeah i mean it's i i definitely like the uh oh you know what i, I had my ipad mini down here before because i was going to show you like a size comparison of this mm -hmm. to the ipad mini but the ipad mini is back upstairs the ipad mini is the only tablet that i use um I don't have like a full size. I mean, I have a full size iPad, but I never use it because the iPad mini is big enough for me. And the iPad mini is maybe like that. I mean, it's not that much bigger. So this is a fairly expansive um, place to work, which is cool. Um, I personally, I want to see the more squat version, like we were talking about before with the uh, with the Find N2 or, you know, the the Google, the Pixel Fold, mm -hmm. if it's like that, just because I think the home screen will be a little bit wider and have a little bit more real estate to play with. Mm -hmm. um, I find myself typoing a lot on this, and I think it's just because my hands aren't used to holding that much thickness mm -hmm. when I'm doing the thumb thing. Like, Side to side, it's fine, but I just think that my my muscle memory is just a little bit off because I'm holding a thicker phone, especially because I always put a case on it, and this is a case that came with the Honor um, VS, so it just kind of protects it a little bit more, makes it a little bit more grippy, which I like. So I think that might be part of it, um, but like overall, this is a very uh, a very a very good phone, and I you know I dig it. Uh, I wanted to see if I could flip through some photo samples here for you. Here's a here's a selfie. 
Um, one thing that I noticed, uh, this is a, a, a photograph of my friend's house. Like this is the ultra wide camera and that's the main camera. And you can see there is a very distinct color difference in like the concrete here. So they need oh, yeah. to do a little bit more color tuning, um, in terms of the, uh, in terms of the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the camera the software. Uh, this is a photograph of my son. He is paid talent, so we can put his image on the internet. It's okay. Um, and when you zoom in, you know, it actually does a pretty decent job around the hairline for, this is a portrait shot. Um, so you can see like around the hairline, there's not like a lot of wispies that are getting cut off, but I think it actually is overcompensating a little bit and actually cutting into his hairline it, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, over over the screen, over the stream, it looks really kind of like digitally etched. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, which I mean, I actually kind of prefer that rather than, you know, leaving a little bit of space around mm, the edge of the yeah. head like some, like an some uh, science. cameras will do. Yeah, it is. Uh, let's see. That's like a 10x shot of a zebra head. Um, and just for context, that's how far away I was when I shot it. Mm -hmm. So zoom is actually pretty decent. Like zoom is really solid up to up to three X. Once you go beyond that, things get a little yeah, soft. Pretty, but pretty I mean, all, all told, it's not bad. Um, oh, shoot. I just lost all my photos again. Never mind. Uh, so like the the one of the biggest sticking points on this partic particular device is this is priced at 1599 euro not a u.s release so it's only going to be in oh. uh, you know europe and other markets it's priced at 1599 euro which translates roughly to about i want to say 18 and a half 1900 something like that today US, today so. it translates to 1716 1716 okay. but still okay. still i mean the, when i think of honor and the the few honor devices that i've had over the years I, I I put them in that kind of that bracket or that camp of um, kind of qu quality things. quality uh, design and everything, but budget you know, but less expensive, kind of in that yeah. kind of Chinese phone kind of you know bucket um, where you get you you pay less, you get a little bit more, but it's not perfect. You know, some of the edges are are a little rough. Um, right. And so I'm kind of surprised that, that even them doing a foldable, that they aren't coming in at least a, a couple hundred dollars, you know, less than that. Cause $1,700, that's pretty standard for foldables of this size. I would exactly. Say. Exactly. There's so a couple other test notes and then, uh, we can move on. Um, the hinge is uh, a lot floppier than the, uh, than the competitor that they're going up against whose that name is shall not be spoken. What's that is that? exactly um, what so, I was going to ask you about the hinge, because uh, yeah, yeah so that's one like, thing that the, the Z Fold seems to have going for it is like the hinge is actually able to hold it up in like a tabletop state. Yeah. And they've got four like, generations of design yeah, around that yeah. hinge. The first generation yeah. was not good. You know, there were issues, you know, so yeah. Samsung's had a lot of time exactly. to really hone this in. So exactly. you're saying the hinge um, is there's not no able wireless to really charging. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? Yeah, can you back at the hinge, like how? Would you describe the hinge? Like, does it just flop back to its like, uh, yeah. you know, unfolded or folded or unfolded position? If you don't like, if you just look at it wrong, <laughs> not all the way. No, like, so I mean, if it's if it's open, it's great. If it's closed, it's great. It's when you're in the halfway zone. Like, if you don't close it all the way, it can kind of pop back. Um, uh... I'm trying to demonstrate, and it's it's not doing it. Um, now, one thing Honor was very proud of was the fact that they only put. I think they said there's only four parts to this entire hinge mechanism, which is actually kind of mind-blowing when that you is. really stop and think about it. Yeah. Um, but I think at the same time, I think they lost a little bit of that maneuverability um, when they're... Because, like, I don't know if you can see it, but, like, when I move this, it kind of moves a, back a little bit. Like, I move it like this, and it kind of cuts back a little bit. Um, and so, like, it's not as stiff as I would like to see, especially, like, on the, you know, the flip four. I can put this anywhere I want, and it's going to stay right. there, no problem. And, um, and once you do this, that, once you have one of those foldables and you do that, it kind of, it's kind of a necessity. Like I would be really, right. really bugged by that, by what you're showing right I, now. With the hinge. Yeah. I mean, I'm not that bugged by it. I'm not triggered by that as much. I'm, I'm more bugged by the fact that it doesn't have wireless charging. That's kind of a bummer to me. Mm, that's um, surprising. Yeah. That's also, that's also something that I left out of my slash gear review, but I was already at 3000 words. What do you want? Um, you got but, it in uh, here. You got it in here. 
I did. I did. Um, so, like, overall, it's just it's a little bit too expensive, I think, to make it and make it an Insta buy, especially yeah. since Samsung in some in some areas is actually cheaper and they're two farther, two generations farther into it. But what this does offer is competition in that space, in a space that doesn't have enough competition. So I'm I'm here for it in that regard. Mm-hmm. Um, I just think Honor needs to, you know, put it back in the oven, let it cook for a little bit longer, and then we'll uh, then we'll see where we are. Mm. Um, oh, one other test note: it's using a Snapdragon eight plus Gen one processor, so it's it's from the latter half of last year. Yeah, it's not a Gen two, so that's that's also something to take into consideration. Yeah, and when so. you're when you're not, you know, which if honor was bringing this foldable to market and it was, you know, two to $300 less than this kind of the competitors, things like that make them make more sense. And that's acceptable. Yeah. A little more acceptable, a little easier to swallow. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, but uh, yeah, overall, that's my, uh, that's the reader's digest version of my review. Go read the whole thing at slash gear.com. There you go. Plug honor magic VS five G. Thank you, Adam. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Give it a seven out of ten. It's a um, solid seven. It's se- a solid seven out of ten. That reminds me of uh, of my junior high grades. That was pretty standard for me, to be honest. <laughs> if you love all things Android, well, I've got a show for you to check out. It's called All About Android, and I'll give you three guesses what we talk about. We talk about Android, the latest news, hardware, apps. We answer feedback. It's me, Jason Howell, Ron Richards, Win Twit Dow, and a whole cast of of awesome characters talking about the operating system that we love. You can find all about Android at twit.tv slash AAA.